What most people see as junk, we see as dollar signs. We'll buy anything we think we can make a buck on. Since American Pickers debuted on the History Channel in 2010, this mesmerizing show has captivated audiences with its riveting premise. The show focuses on two antique dealers, Mike Wolf and Frank Fritz, as they traverse the vast landscape of America in search of forgotten gems waiting to be restored and resold. Mike and Frank, the dynamic duo at the heart of the show, possess an on-screen chemistry that is simply irresistible. But amidst this dynamic duo, Frank Fritz steals the limelight with his larger than life personality and infectious antics. 150 for both. Mm, I like that 175 number. I know you're on that 175. Make it 160. 165. All right, I got you. 165. Frank's genuine love for all things retro has enchanted audiences around the globe, and his presence on the show elevated it to new heights, turning American Pickers into a must watch sensation. Yet, life can be unpredictable, even for our beloved TV stars. In July 2021, amidst a period of personal turmoil and health struggles, the History Channel dropped a bombshell, announcing that Frank Fritz would be departing from the show. This revelation came when Frank was facing what can only be described as the toughest chapter in his life, leaving the fans to wonder why. How? <laughs> 84. 84. She was so nice and gracious. She was funny. That's what keeps me going is meeting new people and new experiences. So join us as we reveal the untold truth of Frank Fritz from American Pickers. Frank was born to his father, Bill, and mother, Susan, in the green city of Davenport, Iowa. Antiquing is usually seen as a hobby for older people, but for Frank, it started as a kid and only escalated as he grew older. As a kid, Frank loved collecting rocks, beer cans, postage stamps, and anything that could be worth something someday. Collecting, I mean, when I started out, I collected the staples, you know, beer cans, stamps, coins. Razor you know, blade. You collected ra razor blades. Razor blade collections, uh, tube repairs, you know, I mean, I collected all the staples when I was a kid, and it just... Escalated. If we didn't know any better, we would have assumed he came out of his mother's womb with a penchant for picking. Frank moved on from small items to bigger items like motorcycles, memorabilia, and dirt bikes as he grew into puberty. Throughout high school, Frank continued picking and it was in the hallways of Bettendorf High School in Iowa that he would become friends with Mike Wolf. Although Frank enjoyed the hobby of picking, he wouldn't embark on it as a profession until later in his life. After graduating high school, Frank worked as a fire inspector in Iowa. It's hard to imagine Frank as a dedicated fire inspector, fearlessly venturing into buildings to ensure others' safety from the fiery threat. But for nearly three decades, he took on the vital task of sniffing fire hazards and ensuring everything was up to code. But little did Frank know that his destiny had a different plan in store for him. Amidst his rigorous inspections, Frank stumbled upon something unexpected. He discovered that the items he inspected could be sold for a fortune. Frank bought a pen for $15, only to have it sold for more than $450. With a keen eye for value and an entrepreneur spirit, Frank embarked on a thrilling new adventure he had once abandoned, antiquing. Starting out, he dipped his toes in the market by selling fireman's equipment and souvenirs. It was as if he had found a hidden treasure trove right within his profession. But Frank's ambition didn't stop there. He had a burning desire to carve his path in the world of antiques, and so he boldly established his very own antique business, aptly named Frank's Finds. Upon establishing Frank's Finds, Frank reconnected with Mike. Enjoying a passion they once shared as kids, Mike convinced Frank to join him on picking sites. Frank agreed, and the duo would drive around looking for special digs while Mike recorded the process. While Mike and Frank were on the road, Mike kept pitching a show around their picking adventures to the networks. He started putting up videos of himself and Frank on the website and used those videos to pitch the premise for a show. After five years, History Channel finally bought into the idea, and American Pickers was born. I was right now, and there's not one show I'd pitch for five years. Right. So I was, I was naive to the process, you know, and it worked out. For 21 seasons, Frank and Mike collected bits and pieces of American history and other items on the show American Pickers. The fans loved them, and the show grew to be more successful than the producers envisioned. Instead of the show's success changing Frank and Mike, it only brought them more leads for even more exciting items. The 21st season of the show was set to be another season of Frank and Mike touring the states in search of antiques. Frank was present for the first seven episodes of the season, but the fans couldn't help but notice when he was absent from the 
28th episode. Frank's co-stars Mike and Danielle Colby did not address Frank's absence, and the rest of the season continued without him. For a while, Mike, Wolf, and History Channel were silent about Frank's absence from the show, but the fans were outraged about the situation, and many began to wonder what was going on behind the scenes of the show. There were several speculations until Frank spoke in an interview with The Sun, saying, I didn't leave the show. I finished shooting and then I had a little back surgery. He highlighted his battle with Crohn's disease and said he would have loved to return to the show, but there's a lot of controversy going on. This explanation served to placate viewers of the show for a while until the real reason behind Frank's departure from the show became apparent. In a whirlwind of drama and revelations, the truth behind the sudden departure of Frank from the show has finally come to light. After Frank's interview, social media became the battleground for Mike to spill the beans. Taking Instagram like a digital warrior, he decided to shed some light on the history he and Frank shared on the show. With a hint of nostalgia, Mike confirmed Frank's exit from the beloved program, expressing his bittersweet emotions. I will miss Frank, just like all of you, and I pray for the very best and all good things for him on the next part of his journey. However, that Instagram post was just the tip of the iceberg. The real truth about what went down between Mike and Frank on the show is about to rock your socks off. Mike and Frank's history goes way back to their high school days, but the fame and fortune they amassed during their TV escapades had stirred up some simmering tensions in their once rock-solid friendship, eventually reaching a boiling point. Frank boldly claimed that the show had always been ridiculously skewed in Mike's favor, and honestly, it's not hard to see why. After all, Mike was the one who pitched the whole shebang to the History Channel. But here's where things get really interesting. Frank revealed that he felt like the unsung hero who preferred to stay out of the spotlight while Mike soaked up all the glory. In Frank's eyes, Mike was the golden child, the producer's favorite, who thrived under the warm embrace of fame. Frank unleashed his fury, revealing that despite their long-standing friendship, Mike never bothered to check up on him during his battle with Crohn's disease and his pesky back issues. Frank was left fuming, feeling betrayed by someone he had known for over four decades. How could someone he trusted be so nonchalant about his well-being? But it would seem that there's more to this tale than meets the eye. The fans were still reeling from History Channel's decision to remove Frank from the show when they announced that Robbie Wolf would replace him. But here's the thing that had everyone scratching their heads in confusion. Why would they fire Frank just because he had some health issues? It didn't make sense to the devoted fans who had grown to love Frank's unique charm and wit. Naturally, rumors started flying when the announcement of Robbie Wolf as the replacement hit the airwaves. Whispers in the fan community suggested that Mike may have pushed the producers to bring in his own flesh and blood. Frank spoke about this in an interview with The Sun, also speculating that Mike may have orchestrated his exit to make way for Robbie Wolf. However, it is worth noting that this is nothing but speculation, and no concrete evidence supports Frank's claims. Surprisingly, Mike did not seem somewhat remorseful about the whole ordeal. Instead, he stated that Frank's addiction struggles significantly impacted his exit from the show. He even went on saying that he cares about Frank and would welcome him back with open arms, but Frank just can't seem to strand things out. According to Mike, Frank's current predicament is a result of his past choices. Frank's battle with addiction isn't just a rumor or a wild accusation. In 2017, he found himself in hot water after driving the wrong way on an Iowa interstate. Frank didn't shy away from admitting that he was under the influence before getting behind the wheel. As a result, he faced charges of operating while intoxicated. The court slapped him with a fine, but Frank didn't stop there. He took the necessary steps to address his addiction head on. He completed a substance evaluation program and endured a year of probation, showing his commitment to turning his life around. And just recently, he attended rehab, determined to conquer his demons and get back on track. However, despite Frank's desire to return to the show and his recent progress, the 23rd season of American Pickers kicked off in 2022 without him. The anticipation is palpable, but a piece of the puzzle is missing. The big question is, will Frank ever find his way back into our living rooms?